I can't get a dog to pose, but I can get him to be occupied with his bone. Here you go, Smooth. That's a good boy. Now I'm going to set my homemade easel up at sitting height so I can be closer to Smooth's height when he's lying on the ground. And I'm using casein color, titanium white, yellow ochre, Venetian red, cadmium green, chromium oxide green, cad red scarlet, cadmium orange, ivory black, and I'll add some cobalt blue. Casein is a water-based paint, a very ancient one, older than acrylic. And I like it when I'm painting in this way, drawing with a brush and applying the paint more thickly than I might with another water-based paint like gouache. The light is coming from the left, so I'll save my lightest lights for that. Now he's moved into a new position, so I'm going to start a second pose. I lay it in quickly with a brush, trying to grasp the essentials right away. Now the background tones. I'm simplifying all the detail of those leaves on the ground. Now his light colored areas on his fur, the dark areas, how those shapes interact. I have black on the palette because I want to be able to get really profound darks. Whenever there's black as a local color in a subject, it's often good to have black on your palette. Now the eyes and the ears and the nose require the most attention and I put the most detail in those. I want to make it clear what he's doing and clear the way those shapes overlap each other as they go back in space. This whole uh, couple of sketches maybe took about 45 minutes in total. That's all that time I had because he was constantly moving. Okay, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to my channel. And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.